Hey, what is up, guys? Some of you screws here. I uh, just wanted to add some commentary to these uh, Street Fighter 5 matches because I thought that they were actually uh, pretty special. Uh, they were uh, pretty unique. Uh, basically, what happened was I ran into this Kami player last night, and he actually he pretty much uh, dismantled me. That first round, the guy just freaking destroyed me. The first round, uh, because basically what he was doing was he was fishing for the you know the, the tokens and that sort of stuff, and he was using the uh, the spin knuckle basically to get just through the tokens you know into big damage and then just you know set all that stuff up etc. So after that, what I did was I just stopped throwing the tokens absolutely, you know just completely stopped throwing the tokens, and basically what happened was that after that the guy simply had no idea what to do. The guy had no backup plan whatsoever. So basically, that's kind of what happens. You know, I mean, sometimes you're playing online, you run to these players that are actually on uh, full autopilot, and that's the problem. You can't, you can't go out there full autopilot. You know, I'm always telling people that uh, you have to have a backup plan. You have to be good at adapting, because otherwise, this happens to you with this cami. See what I mean? Guy has no freaking idea what to do here, and uh, just freaking destroyed his ass. Definitely. Look at that. He straight up just gave up right there. And the matches were good. I thought the match was like insanely freaking good because the guy basically forced me uh, to adapt. The guy was like just fishing for the Kikokan, so I said, you know what, alright, no Kikokans then. And then I took away his spin knuckle. What happened? Guy was uh, got absolutely freaking destroyed. Why? No backup plan whatsoever. The guy is not good at autopilot. Like, I'm guessing he thought he could just keep doing the same thing over and over again for like three matches in a row, and that would just fly. You know what I mean? No, it doesn't work like that. Okay, that was good. That was a good setup right there. I'll give him that. And then just basically just poke them. You know what I mean? That was good. That was a good little uh, good little jump in right there. And you know, so I'm always saying you have to have a backup plan, which is what I do. You know what I mean? I I always adapting. I'm always doing this. Always doing that. You know what I mean? Right now. I am still throwing Kikokens and stuff, but I'm throwing them at a distance where I know he won't punish with the spin knuckle. See what I mean? So basically, and look at that. The guy has no, no idea. Look at that. What the hell was that? At, what the hell was that at the end? I'll tell you what that is. What that was. Desperation. That is what that was. And, uh, yeah, good match. But the first match, the guy destroyed me. Took away his spin knuckle. Guy got destroyed. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what happens. You have to have that backup plan, which is what I always do. Well, after I fought this guy... Real quickly, you know, after I lost him the first match, real quickly, ooh, that was good, actually. I analyzed, okay, what the hell did I do wrong with this guy? Like, real quick, like, on the fly, I analyzed that right here in my head. And I said, hey, you know what? Kikokens. Can't throw Kikokens out. Just gonna have to be a little more patient. Like, right, that one was good, right in his face. He wasn't expecting that one. And then, see what I mean? No spin knuckle. Guy, guy can't get in. The guy simply cannot get in. And that's good. Ooh. That was nice. Yeah, keep jump. Oh, that was nice. Oh my God, somebody's done here. Look at look at look at this. Look at the side. Look at the damn. Oh, good setup, but I blocked it. And actually, that was a pretty easy read. I would say the guy. This guy is literally just on full autopilot. I would say. I don't know what the hell that was about. That was. He's. I guess he's just trying that uh, dual V, uh, second V trigger. Unfortunately, it did not work out for him very well. Unfortunately, no, no, no. And I'm actually right now trying out my my dual monitor setup. Which is actually quite cool. I've never actually had two monitors. I had this old monitor in my uh, my in the closet here in, in the buildings, and I just grabbed that, tossed it on here, prayed to God that it still worked, and I fired it up. Why am I mentioning that to you guys? Since you guys can't see the uh, second monitor, I don't know. I'm just happy about it. It's actually pretty cool. Two two monitors is actually pretty cool. It's gonna come in handy for the streams and whatnot. Uh, tonight I'm actually streaming some uh, freaking uh, Monster Hunter World. Uh, there's actually this new monster called the uh, Nega Gigante, something like that. I'm going to be streaming that. And then I'm also going to be streaming some Metal Gear Survive uh, over on Twitch. I'm sure, I'm not really sure what to expect with that game. But my buddy tells me that it's really freaking good. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's talk about the matches. Alright, so these are some matches that I threw in as a little bonus. These are some matches I had against a Ken player who was acting a little, uh, a little bit disrespectful. I would say a little bit, just a little bit. You know, there was certain, uh, just the way he was moving around. I don't know why. There was just something about the way he was moving around that he sort of uh, defied me. I would say, and this like the cami, same same stuff. This guy won the first match. Then after that, I did the necessary adjustment. That was it. You know what I mean? Ooh, that was good. That was nice. But uh, that's what I'm always saying. You have to adapt. Ooh. Okay, that was that was interesting. Oh my God! Look at this. Boom. Good damage. And I, I actually just crushed kind of this guy to death. Boom. That was good, actually. I, I didn't follow that up, actually. Ooh, here comes another one. Boom. God damn. Oh, my God. Ah, I, I, I could have followed that up with the Kikosho. 
Uh, but I screwed up, actually. The Coach is actually pretty good. I'm actually enjoying it, by the way. Uh, it's really good. When you need that last hit after the leg, you can just throw that Hikosha right out there. It's pretty cool. The combos you can do with it, it's pretty cool. It's actually, one of the ma main reasons why I'm using her Hikosha is because... Oh my god, what was that? And then I screwed up as well, and boom, didn't matter. Toss his ass right to the corner where he belongs. With the trash. But uh, definitely, what I'm liking about her Hikosha is the fact that you can actually do EX legs. Followed by the friggin' Kikosho. Followed by her EX spinning Burke Kick. That's actually a pretty sweet combo that I've not been able to do since Ultra Chief Fighter 4. And you guys remember, in Ultra Chief Fighter 4, I love doing legs into the EX legs into EX spinning Burke Kick. It was actually a great, uh, great combo. Great, uh, nice damage. You know what I mean? I could actually follow that up with the uh, with the Ultra 1 as well. With the, her Hosenka in freaking uh, uh, Ultra Chief Fighter 4. Which was awesome. And then they took that away from her in Street Fighter V. But then they sort of gave it back to her with her freaking, uh, with, uh, ooh, that was nice. Oh, my God, dude, thank you. Thank you so much for the free critical art. I really appreciate it, you know what I mean? You know, it's not a good idea to throw that stuff out there random when your opponent has the a full critical art dodge full, filled up. You know what I mean? It's not really a good idea. Oh, my God, the guy's in trouble here. Ooh, screw that. I don't remember if he wins this round or not. I don't really remember. Ah, my God. I thought that would actually catch the guy, but it didn't, unfortunately. And I'm not really sure what happened to you. I don't remember. Uh, oof. Yeah. That was kind of BS, though, because I did any air the, the... I did any air that, but he did do, like, the, the the legs in the air, the tatsu in the air. So, the yeah, the hitbox was different, so I didn't hit it. But, yeah, anyway, boom. Nice little tech right there. Red that bad boy. And uh, this guy as well, like the Kami, he's also on full autopilot, I would say. And he's matching that stuff out as well. He's matching... Whoa! Toss me right to the corner. Ooh, that was good. And he tries to get me dizzy and fails miserably, actually. He failed. I know. It takes a lot to get me dizzy, I'm gonna be honest. Very oh my god, look at the combo right here. This is the sweetest freaking combo. Oh my god. See what I mean? That's what I'm liking about the kosher. And he wants more, apparently. Ah, oh, I screwed that up. I could just gone. Yeah, I, I held it. I held it for some reason. I don't know why I held it. Oh my god, but now I got him right where I want. It was in the corner. And let's see. Ooh, that was good. That was good hard punch, but I'm sure that wasn't a read or anything uh, interesting. He just threw that out there and called it a day. Ooh, that was sweet. I actually could have hit it with the Kikosha right there, but I screwed that up. Oh my god, that was nice. Got him with the... I remember when I actually did this, I kind of just laughed like Nelson. Like, ha ha. When I got him with that little crouching uh, light kick. You know what? That always gets them, man. Gets them every single time. That crouching uh, light kick. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Finger licking good, baby. All right, so this is the last match against again the Ken, and uh, this match was actually he's already been fully downloaded. So what I do here is I actually just pretty much destroy his ass. You know, I mean, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, I think he doesn't get a single uh, round here, I believe, because he's already been downloaded, like I said. And and evil mode, see what I mean? And evil mode has been activated, but he still has those match that those SRKs that he's smashing out. Oh oh oh! Somebody screwed that up. Not a good idea. Don't throw out those freaking uh, Shoryukens, man. Especially that hard version, too. Oh, my God. He threw it out again. Big damage. Good damage. Good damage. And let's see here. Oof. Toss his ass right to the ground. What's he going to do? Shoryuken? No Shoryuken. Oof. Crush counter his ass again. And it's over. See what I mean? That is what I'm liking about that Kikosho. It's actually really freaking good. When you got that, those opponents locked down in the corner... Kikosho is perfect for that stuff because you know you can just hit follow it up with the X spin and bird kick or follow it up for example with uh, if you have meter critical art etc and uh, that was good setup uh, too much damage I don't agree with that I'm gonna be honest I don't agree with that much damage uh, I lost what like 25% of the health bar right there nah I don't agree with that but uh, ooh punch him right in the face ah thought he was gonna go for a grab there but he didn't but I just blocked oh shoot wait a second and let's see here yeah the guy ooh that was sweet I thought he was going to go for the grab. No, he didn't, do, he didn't grab. But definitely, you know, these matches were good. Ooh, got him right in the yeah, See what I mean? Fully downloaded. And, okay, that was good. Ooh, nice. I read that, by the way. I knew he was just going to jump straight up like that. So that's why I did the, uh, oh, and it's, ooh, and I followed it up. Nice, and then too far away, x going to kind of connect. That was good. Oh, my God. That was a good setup. I'll give the guy that. That was a really good freaking setup. Holy shit. Nice, flashy, decent damage. Ooh, oh, my God. I'm in trouble here. I'm in freaking trouble. What's gonna happen here? What's gonna happen? Oh my god, he screwed up. Come on, man. Why would you do that? Alright, so that is pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed these Street Fighter 5 matches. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. But the most important thing is to follow me on Twitch. Later!